Hi Aries and welcome to your reading for Friday. I hope all of you are doing amazing. Thank you for tuning in. So let's see what's coming up here in the cards for you Aries. Okay, spirit angels and guides, please show us for Aries. What do they need to see or acknowledge? Wow. Okay, there's no reason to worry about something here. Um, You feel like there's something you have to do all on your own, but you have support. Two of Cups. Four of Cups. Star. Emperor. You're really going to be shining brightly and taking back your power and owning who you are and not giving your power away. That's what it shows. It shows like you have gone through a transformation. In the past, you may have been rejected and felt a little sad about it. You may have been or had someone reject you or maybe um, you would have felt this way. Like Maybe in the past here it would have really affected you to have someone who, I don't know, like gives you an offer that you don't care for or maybe you're not included in something you try to include someone in something and they don't want to because you have the star and the emperor it looks like you've gone through some total transformation what is aries energy here look you're the queen you're coming up as this fiery passionate friendly confident queen you're actually going to be more than that. The Emperor is the future. So what is around Aries here? The Seven of Coin. Somebody is, they've invested, they've put time, money, and energy into something. And they want it to grow. They want it to develop. You're willing to manage a situation with the Two of Pentacles. You can manage things. You can handle things. There could be somebody around you who, like, wants a lot from you. Like, they've got Seven of Pentacles, and yet they're wanting more, which is like, I don't know. They want the Ten, I guess. They want more investment of time. They want more just something. Okay, so what is coming up as the outcome for Aries reading here for Friday? You've got to be kidding. The sun card. Happiness, joy, great success, positive energy, success in everything. You're shining so brightly. Oh my God, look what's on the bottom. The victory, the hero, the rewards, the accolades. It's the energy of the planet Jupiter as it travels through Leo. Right now we have Jupiter in... Uh, right now we have Jupiter in... Um, what do you call it? Taurus. There's not a, not a lot of places for Jupiter to go in Taurus. It can expand your money. It can expand things for you. But uh, an Earth sign moves very slowly. It's not like going to happen quick like Jupiter and Aquarius. Or Jupiter and Sagittarius. So what is this sun energy about? What is this sun energy? 
the coin <laughs> with the wheel. So you have something changing in your favor here. The wheel of fortune turns. You get this amazing coin, this gift. What is this um, seven of coin person? Why are they looking at the development of something? They're the fool, okay. They're looking at the real investment, the time, the money, the seniority. Why is there the emperor here coming up for Aries? Why is it there? The four of wands, stability, time off, enjoying your life. You get to a place where you're able to enjoy yourself. Um, okay, so you get this coin, and why are you Queen of Wands here? Wow, the devil and self-control. Maybe there was something that was really annoying, and you had to be peaceful. Hmm. Okay. Something with the devil would be a big challenge. And then the strength is having the strength to have self-control and peace. So let's see, what is this coin coming in for Aries with the ace of pentacles? Why is it here? Okay, six of cups, memories, friendships. And what is this here? The Hermit. Discovery. The lamp is shining on something. I'll just take the Six of Cups out. I mean, why, why is there a Two of Cups at the root of this? The Empress. The Goddess of Abundance. A mother, mother figure. You, there's a lot of support here. What is the star on Aries' mind here? Um, the Knight of the Cups comes in with an emotional message, an invitation. Why are you Queen of Wands, though? Like, why is Aries going to be in the Queen energy? There's a Queen of Swords. Okay. Making smart decisions. Taking action, making smart choices. So we'll just sort of set these off to the side. We know that the sun is coming in, which can, which can you know, illuminate deception if there is any. Why was there an eight of swords in the crossing here? Okay. There's a Nine of Cups coming. There's satisfaction, wish fulfillment, happiness, contentment, feeling satisfied. But with an Eight of Swords, that's like the challenges, feeling trapped, isolated, alone, not, not getting answers. Why is there a Four of Wands here? Why is the Four of Wands here with an Emperor? The Six. It's a victory. It's a minor victory. I mean, it is it is the Jupiter in Leo. It's still a minor arcana. It's not a trump card. It's not a major arcana. It is. So we have happiness, release, abundance, self-discovery or illumination, somebody giving you something, but your energy is in a queen. And you're picking up the wand and you're taking action. You're also picking up the sword too, which means you're like kind of on the defense. Around you is a fresh start, something that is new. But somebody is looking at the value or 
whether they can hire you or something like that. Why is there of the fool? The chariot. Somebody determined to come forward. Why is there a queen of air here? Oh, wow. You walked away. You felt like you wanted to depart or leave. So what's going to be here um, noteworthy with the uh, Six of Wands? What's going to be noteworthy? Okay, something was on pause. Actually, yeah, something was on pause. Hangman. What is this um, hermit bringing out? What is this hermit revealing? Okay. Something that is hidden with the moon and a queen of the pentacles. Somebody has a pentacle to invest, to give to you, to pay you. Upcoming energy is power, stability, victory, but your energy is throwing me off here because it's showing like you're picking up the wand you're the queen, but you're also leaving. Like, I've got something else I'd like to do. And, you know, you, someone is very determined to come towards you. Why is this chariot here? The high priestess, the secret, someone's guarding a secret. How does this make you feel the sun? How does this make Aries feel the sun? Because things get easier. Six of air. It makes your life easier. Smoother. Easier. And an ace of cups. Happy. Okay, two of swords coming out with the three of cups. There's something about other people that you don't know. Um, all right. Let's just see. It looks like a lot of positives. I don't have all, I don't have any fives. There's no lack. There's no shortage. There's no um, being left out in the cold. But there is, you know, ruminating thoughts going through your mind and pressure. Ten of Wands is like, I'll do it all. I won't ask for help. I'm just going to do everything. And it's fine but I'm going to feel trapped <laughs> or like I'm unable to get out of a situation. But the sun, the nine of cups is clarifying. So someone is satisfied by this. You do, things do get easier. You have an ace of the water, powerful feelings. What's going on with Aries here? Why do they feel like Eight of Cups? Like, I'd rather just get out of here. Camera. Learning from the past. Reminiscing. Maybe there's... Um, photo. A mirror. Introspection. Okay, so there is the hermit there showing introspection. Self-image mirroring someone else. Else? Um, paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playful, oneness, enjoying each other. Okay. Photograph. Looking at photos, missing you, feeling nostalgic, making memories. On your, what you're going to become aware of is a complete release and recovery. And in the future, you're going to really own your power. I have here palm tree, stability, serenity, or I'm sorry, security, permanent, growth, endurance, being flexible in a situation, going f going with the flow, bending in the wind. Okay. 
I don't really see, I see a queen of swords that is in your energy. Either it's someone, I don't really see it as someone towards you though. Someone towards you is like they're guarding a secret. They're determined to come forward. They're taking a leap of faith. And they're looking at what they've invested in. Okay, so show us one more for Aries. Show us one more. Lightning, a sudden change, shocking news, surprise, surprises, epiphanies, upheavals. Okay, the light. I don't have the tower in this reading. Okay. So I got here a heart with a key, meeting the one, and then I got I like you. Okay. What else for Aries tomorrow? The chaser, runner chaser. Someone wants to date you. Oh my god, I just said runner chaser and then the runner comes out. Somebody's not showing their hand. Engagement ring, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. Okay. This reading's getting a little long now, but... Okay, so spirit and angels, let's see what's coming up for Aries tomorrow. What are the energies surrounding Aries energy? What do they need to see or acknowledge? Please show us Aries. Um, the woman holding a coin, a strategy, and a fifth chakra. There's a very important message. Somebody feels like their throat chakra is activated. You could receive a very important message here. We've got um, the angel of strength and a man holding a heart. Financial constraints, okay. Happy family. Envy, goodness. This is looking like somebody wants to help you out, Aries. And there could be somebody else who's kind of jealous that somebody genuinely wants to help you out because you're getting the victory too. It's like somebody wants to, you know, include you in their business. The cornucopia comes out again. It keeps coming out. All right. Well, Aries, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.